Hello everybody, my name is Gatherman, welcome back for another video of Franchise Hockey Manager 6. Uh, I told you guys, well, I was going to come back eventually to this uh, game, right? I actually didn't say anything, I just stopped playing it. But uh, I am coming back to it. It's going to replace Star Wars for a while. I kind of grew tired of playing Star Wars for the channel, at least a little bit, playing it a little bit too much here. So uh, we're going to go ahead and play this instead. Now I am directing you directly to a trade that I'm about to do, right? We're in the 1st of September. Now's the time to make a trade if we can, and we can. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do, so, do some new tweaks so that my teams, that I, whatever team I am on, right, can actually grow a little bit faster and have a lot more time to actually win the cup and stuff like that. A bit of a better chance. So I'm going to make it so that only my two, my players that I've got rights, which is one of them right here, I've got rights from, but I, did, I didn't sign, are going to be the ones that are going to have uh, one star less. The other ones are going to be the same amount of stars, right? So it's a two and a half for a two and a half. I'm going for a side enemy. Uh, I'm trading basically Grizz, uh, Gizzy Heart, which is the one I was using, right? Uh, I, I hadn't signed him yet. He has a one star, uh, one star, uh, I guess, player, right? This is a one star. And Sidon is a 2.5. He's a, a basically a legendary player at this point, or an all star at least. So I want to go for this old timer uh, veteran. I think he can do a lot for us. So we're going to go in and, uh, and make the trade happen. There we go. Sidon, and, and they get these three players in exchange. So let's just take a look, side at any. I'm gonna go ahead and dress every player. I am gonna re-sign him, obviously. Now he's a he's a, um, a veteran. I'm gonna go ahead and tell uh, give him like uh, two years, right? I'm gonna give him two years. Uh, I want him for two years. I think two years should be fine. I'm gonna do franchise player or leader. I'm actually gonna put him under the leader banner. And we give him a, a bit more money. There we go. So give it a, a bit more money for two years and as a leader. So that's what he's going to be. There we go. We're just going to continue simulating really quick until he does resign uh, for us. There we go. He did sign back, boys. So he's back for another two years. So he's going to be with us for three years at least. Side did any. Uh, number seven. He wants the number seven. That's Argani that has it. So you can't have it. Just going to give you number nine, my guy. And uh, Frank Nyber wants number six. You can't have it, so just get number five. There we go. So we're good on that part. Let's take the lineups right here. There we go. Just do that. I'm actually going to do roster. Just make sure that everybody's good. So our captain is still Breden, which is interesting. We've got Eddie Shore. We've got Nyber. Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? That's the uh, right choices right here. And for the lineups, obviously, this is what he, they chose set up the role so it's going to be Britain, our captain with Nyber and Claygorn Denini our new ally a uh, newly acquired player with Holmes and Gagne Frederickson with Gaynor and Herberts Cox with Le Pen and Laurie Laughlin with Eddie Shore Monroe with Corbo and Campbell with Clapper so and there we go and also in the lineups Ainsworth and Miller which uh, obviously we got Ensworth, which is really there to help us out tremendously. We just got him, right? We had him for one year. Yeah, it's a really great goaltender, boy. So hopefully he can do a lot for us this year. We'll see how this, where this leads us, right? I don't remember where we last left off, where we were last time. Uh, I don't remember. Did we win the cup? I don't think we won the cup, right? Let's take a look at our history. Last year was the Toronto St. Patrick's who won the cup. They changed their names, I believe. Are still the are they still the Toronto St. Patrick's or the their Toronto um, Maple Leafs, right? No, they're still the St. Patrick's. They're still the St. Patrick's. All right. Well, that's fine, I guess. We're gonna go ahead and continue. Then I'm gonna simulate. So I think we made it to the playoffs, or I think we missed the playoffs, right? By just a uh, just a quick bit so i think this year is definitely going to be our uh, our year though because i got much better players we got denini to play right as um a main guy really uh, a veteran player for us a 
veteran and also all-stars you know all-star player legendary you could say even at points so i think we're good here i'm actually gonna do can i not do just one day skip uh, next day there you go it's just in case there you go like i said uh, that's what i kind of was expecting so jack forby's waivers he's a three star so what i can do here is i can juke it off boy so uh, i'm gonna claim the player He's been claimed. There we go. I'm actually going to go ahead and go to next day. There we go. So we've got Jack uh, Forbes in here. He's going to play as our backup. He wants to be number one. We already have the number one for George Ainsworth. If we have Jack uh, Forbes, right? Miller should be playing the minor. Uh, uh, should be playing the league as well because he's a two star. Uh, the best team to go after here to trade him for, for like some draft picks. I think would be the Cougars. So give me a few seconds. All right, so we're gonna give Montreal the Maroons, right? They're gonna we're gonna give them our goaltender two star, our backup that was the, the guy that was supposed to be our backup. We're gonna give it to the Maroons. Uh, it's a two star, and that's equivalent to your fourth round pick. Uh, they do need a goalie, I believe, right? They need a lot of players actually. They're in need of a lot of things. So I think uh, that's a perfect trade. Makes sense. We get a draft pick out of it and we should be good now. So there we go. American Maroons. That's done. The Okay, so the Americans did trade some people to the Maroons as well. All of this. All good, boys. So we can start the season. Uh, hopefully, it's going to be a really good season this year. I'm really hoping for it. So let's start this shit up, boys. First game against uh, the New York Americans, which was our former team, right? That was the Hamilton Tigers. They switched their names to the Americans uh, of New York. They switched uh, cities, basically. But this is the same team. Now, uh, we lost against them, but we're going against Detroit. This is a team that we should definitely be able to beat pretty easily, actually. Right? So... There we go. So that's New York, the Rangers this time around. We lost against them. That's not good. Blackhawks, we should be able to beat them. They're uh, pretty much a, a new team. So there we go. We know the teams that are new. Toronto, St. Patrick's, obviously, they're uh, Stanley Cup champions. We did win against them. That's good. Uh, the trade proposals from the Blackhawks, they want to trade. Uh, they want to give us this one pick for uh, Jack Forbes. Never absolutely not i don't know what they were thinking right there were they really thinking i was about to trade my three-star goaltender i just acquired for free i was about to trade him for a player that was only one star come on now that's absolutely ridiculous so there we go we're actually winning a couple of games here uh, quite a lot of games which is really good always good to see that boys how many games are we in there right now eight games Two more games to simulate, boys, before watching the uh, the stats. There we go. We win against Boston. Yeah, I think it's really helping us out, uh, the Disney trade. Definitely help us out. Plus, the acquire, uh, right, the fact that we acquired four Bs from the, uh, the waivers is really helping out as well. So there we go. So after 10 games played for us, at least, we're second in the league. Uh, Montreal does do have... 24 points they're they're stud team obviously but they also have they also already played three games more than us but uh oh man we're actually we're second right but this is what's weird sometimes i don't know how it works exactly maybe it's because it's the overtime losses or something like that but they have more points than us the americans and they still are third instead of second i don't know how this works but we're going to have the same amount of points than uh, St. Patrick's. So we're definitely going to make the playoffs this year. This is our lower teams, right? This is our the newer teams, I should say. So right there, the teams that sh we should be able to defeat easily. The, uh, the These uh, last bottom five, right? These other ones, they're really important to beat, though, right? They're not guarantees. These ones are guarantees. The, other, the top five are not guarantees, so... Let's take a look at the stats. We're doing good right now. 8-2 after 10 games. Only two losses. Babe Die, the best score of the league, as always, really. So Babe Die doing a fantastic job. Nine goals already. We've got the Bill Cook as the best player of the league. 21 points. Probably his best career uh, right now. Best season of his career. 
We've got also right behind him Morans with 20 points already in 13 games played. All right, all these players, Frank Boucher and everything. We don't have a, a player aside from Denny. You see his name right here. He does have 11 points in 10 games played, so he is playing really good. Okay. What about the goalie situation? Thompson. Tini Thompson is the best goalie right now with nine uh, nine wins. All right. And Ainsworth, I mean, Ainsworth already has eight wins. Ainsworth is right there, right? He's on the race with Fab Holmes for the first place with the amount of wins. So that's uh, really good. Frank Neighbor, we do obviously have the best player of all time as of now, which is Frank Neighbor, 300 points and plus. Babe Die is the best scorer of all time, though. For a damn fact. So let's continue the simulation, boys. We lost this game against uh, the uh, New York. That's not good. We did get a player suspended, though. That's not good at all, either. How many games is he suspended for? Two games suspension. Fuck. That's really bad. So we need uh, to go and pick uh, our left DS right there. That's what he's there for. There you go. You're moving up, my guy. There we go. And dress you. And we're going to go and dress and assign roles. All right. That's what how it's going to be, boys, for two other games. We lost this game. Fuck. Against. That's two, uh, two losses in a row now. That's not good. We can get number three. It's not taken. Let's go. What about uh, last game with him under the our rule? There we go. We win against uh, Montreal. So that's really good for us. Really good. Can go ahead and get him back into the minors. Did a fantastic job for us. But now it's time to uh, get back our lineups as they were. There we go. Let's get back in there, boys. So far, so good. 50-50, I think. We're, uh, surely enough, like early on in the season, we're actually facing off against the early teams, the bottom five. So that's helping us out really a lot with our points. Eventually, we're going to have to catch up and... Have to face a little bit more the the younger team or uh, the oldest team, right? They're the ones that are going to be really dangerous, like Montreal Canadiens. Obviously, so from time to time we can see them, but like it's not always. So we'll have to see. There's a lot of suspensions going on this year. I feel like people are a lot more in, undisciplined than uh, previous years, or uh, maybe refs are a little bit or not sleeping as much on the ice. I don't know, boys. We're losing a lot of games right now, though. Oh my God, Eddie Shore got suspended. That's uh, that's just great for us right there, boys. Just got suspended. How many games? Got suspended for three games. Good Lord, Eddie Shore. We're going to go ahead and go back in there. That's a right D this time around. Going to send Joe Matt. There we go. Go back in the Pirates thing. Trade this for this. There we go. We're good. Create lines, set up roles. All right, so he's playing there. Fucking okay. Eddie Shore had to go and make himself disappear, like uh, make himself get suspended for three games. Unbelievable. There's a lot of suspension. Holy shit. And the league is sure miss. It's uh, sh sure mi modifying a lot right now. There's a lot of penalties, suspensions going on. Players are missing a lot of games. It looks like the bother, uh, the leaderboard changed a lot right here. We're still second for some reason. I don't know how is it possible for us to be second with only 24 points, but I'll take it. I mean, the Americans are 30, uh, first at 37 points. We're second, 34. 35 points for Montreal, 32 for Toronto. Uh, so we're, I th I'd say, yeah, we're the fourth best team right now. And uh, Maroons, the team we're going to face, are doing really bad. They're the worst team of the league right now. Holy shit. Well, yeah, that uh, definitely hurt them. Uh, it's definitely hurting them right now. Our first season or something. Uh, we're not doing too good, boys. But Frank Boucher went up to first place as the score, best score of the league right now. They're at, he's actually tied up with Morans and Babe Die. They're all at 14 goals each. He's the best player right now of the league, though, with 34 points. They woke up or something, the Americans. They all of a sudden woke up and have a lot of wins. I guess our pro players are producing like crazy. And Ensworth's still in there, but I don't know, boys. They, they're producing like crazy right now. Let's just, uh, let me see the more history right now. Art Garni is still our best player. Interesting. Let's go ahead and continue right here. Actually, Ainsworth played all the game right now, right? 
He's uh, four beats hasn't played a single game. He's always our backup. He hasn't played a single game, so that's uh, the most interesting thing. I am not gonna make any trades for Jack Forbes. All right, that's not. That's just not gonna happen. Big time, not gonna happen. Uh, Joe Matt, you're gonna go back to the minors now that Eddie Shore is back. There you go. Just I, I gotta do this every time someone gets suspended. This is rough. There's a lot of suspensions, man. There we go. We're winning some games now. This definitely need uh, be is something that we need. Uh, we needed. So at least there's that. There we go. Yeah, we're winning a lot of games all of a sudden. That's really good. Detroit uh, Cougars. They changed. Uh, I'm not sure. I think they changed their coach or something. They're making some uh, changes. So not that it's gonna really matter to them. Man, the uh, Americans really want Forbes. You're not gonna get him. That's just not gonna happen. A lot of trades happening. Yeah, that's just not gonna happen. I'm not gonna let you get Jack Forbes. Not gonna happen. All right. The someone was claimed. McFarland was claimed. Oh no. Yeah, it's garbage player. It doesn't matter. Morenz decided to re-sign with Montreal. So unfortunately, he did re-sign with Montreal for another three years. He's gonna be with them. All right then. That's uh, unfortunate for us. I mean, we could have made him a, a free agent. He was a if a, a, a free agent, uh, right? A restrict. He was a UFA basically, or restricted free agent. I'm not sure which one he was, but his contract was due this year. But they did uh, manage to re-sign him, so they uh, they stuck with him, boys. Good for them, I guess, because they're really gonna need them, Montreal. I mean, the whole team is based on him, basically. The coach on Ottawa seems like he's gonna lose his job uh, soon enough. We lost against Tini Thompson and the Montreal Canadiens. That's good. Uh, that's not good, I should say. There we go. We're gonna continue simulation. All right, there it is. After tw 30 games played. Went ahead and we are still second, but uh, still the fourth best team, basically, with 40 points. We're not too shabby or above 500, right? We're 20, uh, 20 wins, 10 losses. I wish we had less losses than this, but uh, we're doing fine. We're just doing, we're just, just fine. We're competing enough towards where we're not the worst team, right? We're not in the bottom, the worst team of the, uh, the top five. We're just in there, right? So at least we're better than Ottawa Senators is what I'm trying to say. The stats after uh, 30 games, it is uh, going to be Babe Die for the best score. He went back up in there with 19, win uh, 19 goals right now in 30 games played or 32 games played. Moran's 45 points. He's back on top. And uh, Connell still with the most amount of wins. He actually topped his top uh, from last year. That's interesting. And uh, Ironsworth with 20 uh, wins. Better than last year already. So good for him. We're already uh, having a much better season last year. So remember, boys, the record, right? This is the record for the C, uh, for uh, uh, most points and most goals in the season. We got to take a look, right? We got to keep in mind that 62 points, 29 goals. We got to keep that in mind because it might be broken this year. I don't know about the goals. Might be rough. The points, Morans or somebody like Boucher or Cook might be able to beat the record for the points. We don't know, right? There's plenty of games left. There's still 14 other games to play. The the uh, the, the league expanded big time in terms of uh, of games, so there's a lot of rooms for more points for the players. So I guess we'll just see where that uh, that leads. We might have a new record somewhere at least uh, this year. So we'll see where this leads. We got, uh, we're losing all of our games all of a sudden right now though. Definitely losing all of our games. So that's not good. Someone got suspended. Ah, oh, I was side enemy. Then enemy got suspended. Fucking, all my players are getting suspended this year. Well, it's just not my players. It's everyone in the league. The refs are rough on, uh, on the players, man. They're not forgiven at all. Like give us a break a little bit. Let the players play for Christ's sake. You're giving us a lot of, a lot of shit. What's going on here? Then any back uh, from suspension? Okay, so it was just one game. He was out. 
What a waste of time all of this is. Alright boys, so there we go. We got 40 games played. I went ahead and skipped the rest of it until we're at 40 here. Just to make it a little bit quicker on the video and stuff like that. Uh, and I try to make as many seasons as possible, as quick as possible. So uh, 40 games played. We actually went up to 44, 54 points. Which is not bad, but it's not good either. Because we did lose a couple of games here. We were struggling during the last 10 games. Uh, we went 6-2-2 two two basically. So that was a bit more of a struggling. We did get some points out of these losses a bit uh, as well. I'm going to go ahead and uh, save really quick because I want the game to... The, uh, you never know if the game crashes or something like that. The Americans are still on top. 69 points. Nice. M Montreal not far behind. 65, 63 for Toronto. And we're in fourth place again. And uh, after that, it's Ottawa. This is the fifth of uh, five teams, right? They're going to make the playoffs, basically. Five or six teams. I don't know if it's six or five teams that need to make it to the playoffs. Not sure how it works, boys. Anyways, the stats after 40 games played. He might do it. He still has He has a chance. He did beat a record, though. What did I say? So let's take a look. All right, it's 26 goals. Nine, uh, th four goals away from beating the record of Joe, uh, Joe Malone's record for the most goals in a season. So 26 goals. He also has 65 points. He already defeated by three points the record of uh, Joe Malone as well. Is it Was it also Joe Malone, the record? Let me see. Uh, leaderboard? I'm not sure. I think it was Joe Malone as well. So he beat his uh, record for the most points. And his most assist as well. This might be the year that he beats all the records, boys. All the records. Oh, actually, I do want to see goalies wise. 32 uh, wins. So already three records got bef uh, got defeated, right? So three uh, all-time all records got defeated for uh, a season. So that's pretty crazy. The amount of assists, the amount of points, and the amount of wins. So... Connell's got the record for the most amount of wins. Ainsworth not too shabby, so he's got 26 wins. That's good as well. I'm really impressed with Morans. I mean, I was expecting that. Obviously, he was. Uh, I knew he was going to be a great player. Doesn't have a lot of mental, but he has so much offensive, like eight, 17 of offensive. This guy is crazy good. What a player he is. He's an injury player for a reason, right? The first guy to, got, to get his... Uh, N number retired uh, on the ceiling, right? So, of an arena. So, this is the guy, man. This is the man. Morans is the best, man. So, 54 points as well for Cook. He's doing fantastic. He's definitely having... Let's take a look at his career right now. Definitely having the best career of it. Yeah, look at that. That's a big jump from the la last season. That was a good season that uh, season, but... This one is even better. I mean, this is a crazy good season for him. So, we got that. Let's continue on to the last four games here. Right? Just have to simulate the last four games. That was an us that Larry Scott. There we go. So, we won the two uh, other games. Two more games to go. Let's try to win as many games as possible. There we go. Uh, we got... Uh, did we get suspended? Bill Holmes. Yeah, that's from our player right here. God damn it. Bill Holmes... He had to get suspended at the last minute right here. Are you serious? Now I gotta bring up a center. How many seasons? How many is that? It's one game. Just for one game for the last game. You get suspended for the last game of the season. Are you fucking kidding me? My guy, you're you're a joke. Come on, Bill. What the fuck are you doing? Oh boy. I swear, boys. Just for one, like really. Just for one game, the last game of the season. You had to go and do that. And look at that for what you done. Because of that, we lost the last uh, regular season game. It's ridiculous. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to send him back now to the mi to the minors. I'm going to send uh, McFady in uh, to the minors. Get Ohms back in there. Let's go. Fucking A. All right. So the season's done. Let me go ahead and take a look. At uh, all the stats really quick. Everybody played. There we go. I'm going to save the game. So Montreal finished first. Actually first uh, best team of the league. 71 points. Tied up with the Americans. 71 points as well. We got. Uh, we finished off with 60 points. Which is pretty good. Pretty good I got to say. 
And um, afterwards, it was Toronto over 69 points. Us at 60 points. To, uh, Senators, Ottawa Senators with 51 points. Might be the first time they, they actually do make it to the playoffs at all, right? I think it might be the, their first time uh, at all that they make it to the playoffs. I don't remember if they made it beforehand. The worst team ends up being a tie between Montreal, the Maroons, and the, the, Bra the Blackhawks. And actually Detroit, right? They didn't do too bad. They didn't do too bad in the first year. That's okay. All right. That's interesting for them. Let's look at the stats after this season. The best scorer. The, 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 okay, so there's one record that hasn't got defeated, that wasn't defeated, was the amount of goals. Might be a tough one because this was the year to do it. Uh, 26 goals, 67 points for Mr. Morantz. Finished up uh, best scorer and best player of the league. Bill Cook uh, over over there. Frank Boucher, 50 points. You got all of them. I mean, Baydab was doing fantastic. All of a sudden, he got like he just dropped. He dropped all of a sudden, like just like that. So I don't know what happened with him. Is he okay or something? I don't know, boys, but. Art Gagne is actually uh, one of our best scorers right now of the league. That's interesting. That's good. Best uh, goalie, 33 wins. Alec Cano, top four, right, for Ainsworth with 29 uh, wins, which is fine as it is. Uh, he's still number two. He's getting in there with Ap Holmes. He's in the big race time. Frank Nyber in there. Ray Noble. Saididini is in there. So he's appearing through... Almost 300 points. Uh, you just got to stay true to our contract that he renewal with us and uh, not retire. And he should be having no problem, no time. His 300 points in his career. So that uh, that's that. Now, I'm not entirely sure how the uh, playoffs work. But we are facing Boston at first. Me take a look at the standings. So let's look at, look at what it how it works. Okay, so... We got a pass, and Montreal got a pass. So I guess the first two teams in the conference or in the league, the first two teams get a pass, the automatic get a pass. That's interesting. So we got a pass, a free pass. Uh, Boston looks like they defeated um, the Rangers, and uh, Toronto defeated New York, the Americans, so my former team. So they defeated the Americans. All right. So that's that. Now that means that we are facing up against Boston and Montreal against Toronto. That's a great playoff right there. That's great. Remember, the, the Toronto uh, St. Patrick's are the defending Stanley Cup champion, boys. They are the, the defending Stanley Cup champions. And uh, so we, it's going to be really interesting to see where this leads us. We got. I hope we can beat uh, Boston. I'm pretty sure we can. Let's. Uh, there we go. There's a first win against them. Just got to win, right? I think it's the team that more scores the most goals during the C, uh, the, these ones. Yeah, we're definitely one against these guys for sure. Yeah, it looks like Toronto defeated Montreal, boys. Toronto is going for a, sen a second Stanley Cup in a row. Uh, I'm not going to let them do that. We got to we gotta be able to win our first cup as the Pittsburgh Penguins. Uh, not Penguins, but the Pittsburgh Pirates, boys. There we go. Bit too early for the Penguins. So let's do it, boys. Let's hope that I can make the same thing happen. Uh, just like I did for Hamilton. I made them, I gave them a, a cup, right? Uh, the unfakeable, right? So I can do it for Pittsburgh as well. We are in the finals after all. We can beat Toronto. I believe in us, boys. We got Ainsworth. We got all these great people. There we go. Hap Holmes versus Ainsworth, the two best goalies of all time as of now. They're facing each other. Let's go. Let's see who truly is the best goaltender when it comes down to uh, the nitty-gritty for the cup. Let's see. Ainsworth. No. Oh, it's a tie. Which one scored the most goals? I don't know. Okay, it's a tie right now. Which one is 5-3? Right now, it's uh, Toronto who scored the most goals right now. Oh, never mind. Never mind. I, I'm lying. Oh, it's a best of five. It's a best of five, boys. So, you got to win three games. Best of five. All right. Let's see, boys. Let's do it. We're, it's one to one. Win the second game for us. We won it. There's the uh, second game. One more game. We win one more game. And we win the cup, boys. Let's do it. This is it, boys. Ainsworth, this is your time to shine. Let's go. Oh my god, it's a tie. Holy shit, it's two to two. 
Two to two, it's going for the fourth, the final, fifth and final game, boys, against Toronto. Will they win a second cup, uh, cup in a row or will we be able to defeat them, dethrone them and win our first cup as the Pit, uh, Pittsburgh Pirates? Let's go. Ainsworth, you got this. Oh, shit. Fuck. Well, Toronto is too strong, boys. We got defeated. We went up to fifth game, all the way to the finals, to the max amount of games we could. But uh, we couldn't do it. We couldn't do it, boys. The Toronto, they were just a better team, I guess. I'm not going to be too mad about that. We made it to the finals. We couldn't defeat Toronto. They were just a better team. They, uh, they did it. They won a second Stanley Cup in a row. Fuck, man. We're going to beat you eventually, Toronto. We're going to dethrone you. Either it's us or somebody else is going to do it. But I intend to win the cup with the Pittsburgh Pirates, just like I did with the Edmonton Tigers. I intend to do it, and I will do it. Pittsburgh Pirates, this was not our year, it looks like. We won the cup, though. Uh, we didn't win the cup, but we went into the finals after missing the playoffs last year. That's a big jump. So I'm confident we can win the cup, right? So this is our their third Stanley Cup overall for the Toronto St. Patrick's, right? So all the way at the beginning they won. After that they had to wait all this time just to win it two times in a row. There looks like this is their time right now. This is in their moment. This is the the Toronto Maple uh, St. Patrick's moment right there. All right, guys, I just found out I fucked up tremendously. Uh, I forgot on the 1st of July before, right? I did all the signings and everything. I completely forgot about doing this. The editing of the league. So now I can only have 14 players on my team and stuff. Fuck. I completely forgot. Now the rules are on normal and stuff. Alright, this series is cancelled. Officially. I gotta cancel this series, boys. Because I just fucked up. I can't play with 14 players on my team. It is time for me to retire. I guess I'll retire, boys, because I fucked up and there's no point in me playing with 14 players on my team or anything like that. So we'll go back to Star Wars, I guess. Don't have anything really else going on. Doesn't matter, though. Final score, 332. We, uh, during my career, managed to do 174 uh, wins and 84 losses within 272 games played that's quite a bit uh that's that's kind of good that's kind of pretty good yeah i've won five championships so five stanley cups not one manager of the year so one manager of the year is not a lot though it's definitely not a lot you finished your career at the age of 39 and are internationally known manager that's pretty much it boys i guess i ended right here remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this entire let's play See you guys uh, for the next video. Keep it easy.